This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Atlassian. Build what's next. Samsung was destined for greatness from day one, or at least its founder thought so. The company's name choice reflected this ambition. Built from the Korean words Sam 3 and Sung stars, and the tri symbol is said to culturally represent something like big, numerous, and powerful. <laughs> At its founding, this was a pretty bold claim from a company that was nothing more than 40 employees dealing in locally grown produce and in the creation of noodles. Since then though, Samsung has certainly found its way into more than just noodles, which leads us into another interesting fact. Samsung is made up of around 80 different companies and has employees numbering over 370,000 people. These companies range from construction to financial services, shipbuilding, and even medical. While the Samsung logo changed a few times prior to the 70s, after this, it pretty much stayed the same, changing only three times until the current logo was settled on in 1993. If it isn't broke, why fix it? Samsung Electronics as we know it really began with a major philosophy shift in 1993. It was in 1993 that Samsung's chairman, Lee Kong-hee, pushed forward a new management philosophy which encouraged product quality as its number one core tenant. In fact, he encouraged his staff to quote, change everything except for their family. Samsung's Human Resource Development Center created new training and development courses to help with this professional growth. The Samsung SCH100 was released back in 1996, making it the very first phone to utilize CDMA technology. In retrospect, being the first one to use a standard that many see as restrictive and inferior to GSM probably isn't much of a bragging right today. But at the time, CDMA was new technology, and in the days before 4G and LTE technologies actually had some real advantages over GSM. Samsung was the first to pioneer a watch that also doubled as a phone. This bad boy was dubbed the Samsung SPH WP10, and this unique watch could not only tell time, but it could make phone calls for up to 90 minutes. After that, the battery would be depleted and you'd have to use a charger. Now, Samsung may not have been the first to make a smartphone by any means, but they were one of the first players to truly get aggressive about the market and introduced the first PDA phone with a color display in the US market in 2001. It was called the SPH i300, and this bad boy was designed for Sprint Network users and ran Palm iOS. The key to a winning product is quality, right? Well, quality helps, but marketing plays a massive role, sometimes more important than the quality of the product itself. You could have a great product, but if no one knows about it, then it just doesn't matter. And Samsung spends a lot of cheddar to stay at top. How much are we talking about? Well, in 2013, it was around $9 billion and it certainly isn't getting any lower today. Unleash your team's potential with Atlassian's collaboration software so you can work and communicate better together. Assign, track, and manage tasks for any project, no matter how complex. That's the clarity of Jira. Create and share content, organize results, and bring team members up to speed. That's the flexibility of Confluence. Now, what I especially like about Atlassian is that it doesn't force you to communicate with your team in one way. If it's too tedious to type out a conversation in a chat box, you can do video chat. That's a good thing. That's Atlassian.com. Unleash the potential of your team. Build what's next. Now, do you know of an interesting fact about Samsung that we left out? If so, please leave it in the comments below. We'll be reading them.